we're all clean here. How you doing, Mike? Thank you so much for having us out here. Thank you for coming out. No, we're, no, we're, it's absolutely it's our pleasure. That. I'll move back here so we can all see you here. Yeah. So how do you think? So what's your uh, thoughts of the event so far? So far, everything's uh, good. I mean, yeah. it's uh, everything seems to be rolling uh, pretty smooth. Uh, everything's on schedule, if not a, a little oh, bit ahead, ahead of schedule. Oh, ahead of schedule, yeah. yeah. No, yeah. I don't even know uh, what time it is. So oh, it's uh, a little uh, yeah, we're about a half hour well, ahead of schedule, actually. Yeah. Uh, you can't ask for more than no, that, right? No, you can't. And everything's going really smoothly. All the drivers seem on point. Everybody, how's your feedback with the drivers um, this time? It's it's actually very good. I mean, it's the you know everybody worries that the high horsepower cars will come out here and just completely right. dominate. Um, you know, you see uh, Sean Booth out there in the uh, uh, S15 mm -hmm. with you know oh. sub 300 horsepower yep. out here. You know, door to door. You had Nick Scardino in a mm -hmm. 230 horsepower car that's uh, that running door to door with right. it. So I, I I like that aspect of it. Uh, I talk to drivers. I go up and down. I talk to every driver while I'm here. Mm -hmm. uh, everybody seems to be having a really good time. Mm -hmm. You know, cars mm -hmm. uh, are getting gripped up. Mm -hmm. Asphalt's really hot right now. So uh, they're, you, you see that they're not going as deep in, in the initiation in the turn uh, two and three. So that, that tells you they're really, they can stand on it. Good, good, yeah. good. Uh, what makes, uh, I got a question here for somebody. What makes Clutch Kicker such an innovative series? I mean, were you also expecting this kind of a reaction turnout? I mean, it must have been a bit of a surprise for you. The speed of growth yeah. ha has uh, been uh, over, not really overwhelming, but a little more than we were expecting. Yeah. Um, I think a few things fell into our place, mm -hmm. right? And uh, I think uh, the timing for us to have these events was good. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I'm not doing this for profit. Mm -hmm. Right. I'm doing this because it's something my son and I do together. It's a passion. Wow. And so we right. started this and. Um, he got into drifting three years ago. Uh, Alec Conadell was a, a big inspiration to him. Mm -hmm. uh, Alec lives here in our hometown. Uh, we actually, I was joking with uh, Chelsea Denofa. Uh, one of the first drift events we ever went to is LD in uh, OSW. Mm -hmm. And uh, that, that Saturday night, we were sitting at a pizza place, and uh, <laughs> and Chelsea was there with his whole crew. And so, after he's getting relieved, and I told uh, Nicholas, I said, "Man, go over there and say something to him, talk to him." Yeah. He said, "You know, a little shy, a little right, starstruck." Yeah, yeah. yeah, a lot of people are. And yeah. so, as Chelsea was getting ready to leave, I'm not scared. I don't know the guy, right? right? <laughs> <laughs> I that comes with age too. The older you get, you get a little more. Uh... Yeah. So uh, I brought him over, and Chelsea took you know probably 10 or 15 minutes um, away from his time and and, and talked mm -hmm. to Nicholas, you know. And I talked to Chelsea about it here. I was like, you know, um, you ne you never know that one kid you're going to talk to yeah. that could be. Either the the next driver is going to be on your door, mm -hmm. or have an entire series. Yeah, correct. Yeah. Yeah. Right, so yeah. we, um, I run with a very small crew. We keep it that way. Mm -hmm. um, I'm very adamant about people coming out and having fun. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't want stress. We're not here for stress. This is something that these guys they they already have you know 40 hour and 60 hour work during the week that mm -hmm. that's already stressful. Life's already stressful enough. So they they spend every dime they have. They come out here. They want to have fun. Um, we, we just provide the entertainment part for them to come out, man. Mm. That's all we're doing. Yeah, and you can see the passion. Uh, not even – we were talking about that last night, how is we had Alex on, and then immediately after Alex's battle with Marco, they came out here, and it's just kind of – you don't see that too often where you just have two people just got done battling, and they jump on the screen to do an interview together, and how close friends they are. You really get to see the passion come through, not with just your, your, your staff, the how much they enjoy and how much it means to them to, to have such a – a smooth running event. I mean, it, like I told you before, is that to have an event go so well and, and, and be so new at throwing events, it you wouldn't tell. You would come in here and you say, these guys have been doing it for years. And with the big crowd. Uh, big crowd as far as drivers. I mean, we had 60 drivers for this event. We had 64 drivers uh, for uh, round three. Um, that, that's a lot of cars to push through, uh, especially is. in a track this size. It's pretty small. Um, Plenty of seat time. I mean, that's the first thing that Chelsea said when he came over. He said, man, I, I couldn't believe how many laps we, we got in practice. And it's because we, we get up there and we make sure and we take control and we get cars rolling and moving, and we want them to have plenty of seat time. I mean, yeah. that's what it's about. You come here to drift. You right. don't come here and sit in a 45-minute, you know, uh, uh, grid line, man. Yeah. You don't want that. Yeah. Sitting in a car in July in Florida. Yeah. You know, yeah. I was about to ask you, I mean, can you do something about the heat, man? Uh, yeah, yeah can you do something about that? Can we man. get some, like, you know, can you put a dome over the track for us next time? <laughs> is, uh, well, it's either this or it, right now it would be pouring yeah. down rain. or uh, Yeah, so absolutely. Right, no, right, no, right now we'll take a little bit of heat. And, absolutely. Uh, Clearly, with all the tents out there, all the crowds came prepared. Mm -hmm. uh, all the teams came prepared. Yeah. Uh, they knew it was going to be hot. Uh, we got Thrive IV that comes in here. Yeah. Um, 
you, if you get overheated or anything, you go up there, they'll take care of you. They got B12 mm -hmm. and, and uh, plenty of uh, IVs to be able to take care of you and get your fluids back in you. So, yeah, we're here to try to take care of the drivers. Yeah, that's very big. I mean, to see something like that. I mean, I see a lot of things that you've done in the clutch kickers, um, not even, you know, in the scene, but also behind the scene that were definitely um, – there was, w there was a lot of thinking in the process. It wasn't just like, hey, we're going to throw a vent and just like throw it up in here and see what happens. No, there was a lot of forethought that went into uh, certain aspects of the event. Yeah. Um, even absolutely. Well, we went from zero to 100,000. Zero to hero. Yeah. I yeah. mean, that, so it, uh, I came from a, a dirt track family. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, my, my dad was involved in uh, some aspects of NASCAR uh, with some teams, and uh, they always do it for money. Yeah. Right. And as I, I talked to my son, I was like, "Y'all going to these events, and you're not making any money. What, what are you, what are you doing? Yeah, yeah. Right? I love. Even small events, right? I'm not talking about any big series, right? Mm -hmm. I'm talking about just small events. Why? Do, I mean, they can't come up with two grand, five grand, something just to help yeah. people, you know, pay for some right. tires. Yeah. Um, so I started doing some math, and um, I, I own a mortgage company, and, and I do math for a living. So I started <laughs> looking at numbers, and I'm like. Guys, I really think we can do this. I mean, I, mm -hmm. I don't see a reason we can't yeah. get X amount of sponsors, mm -hmm. X amount of um, drivers, mm -hmm. and then uh, enough money come through the gate that the math will add up. And that's yeah. really what you're bringing yeah. to the field. You're bringing those years of experience as, as a business owner and, and working in the business. So that's a lot of experience and knowledge that you can bring to this series that's going to help make it successful, not only just successful now, but for years to come. Absolutely. I, I've I've ridden in a drift car probably a half a dozen times, mm. uh, and um, I've never driven one. I can't fit my son's seat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's, he's a, I couldn't fit in his seat there. He's a small uh, kid. Yeah, I can't even fit in his simulator at the house, man. <laughs> yeah. So, um, but to me, it's it's not about, um, you know, one of the first events we went to at some local places, I told my wife when I came home, I was like, you know, all those guys, you know, the, the guy next to you, you may be competing against him the next round, but you see something broke on his car, and they're the mm. first ones that run over there, and they get in the trailer, and they're like, well, here, I got this. Well, here, there's, here's a tool. And I came back, and um, without naming any other sports, mm -hmm. but other motor sports, you don't see that. No. Yeah. Right? You don't see that. They're, 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 they wouldn't give you a, you know, a, right. a, a yeah. wrench if you yeah. needed it. Right. And, um, or let alone help you. Yeah. And, and these guys do, man. They were, I mean, our car broke yesterday, mm -hmm. and uh, the first person that came over is, you know, Dustin Miles. He's like, man, I, I may have that part for you. Oh, how, how, I mean, how cool is that? Yeah, I mean, yeah. We don't know if we're going mm -hmm. against Dustin next round. He didn't even care. He wasn't even asking that. Mm -hmm. uh, he really, that, right. he was there to help. Yeah, yeah. I mean, and, and, like, that's one of the things that sold me on drifting. And uh, when I did my first event, and I was scared, and you don't know what to expect. You're, you're going out there. The camaraderie that everybody had the willingness to help and the bond and that love that everybody had for each other if you if you will it, it just sold me i was like well this is a community that i want to be a part of absolutely so absolutely and it from me being an outsider it was yeah it was it was really uh eye-opening for me so i mean that's why when my son wanted to get into it i was like you know what this this could be a pretty good deal for him you know uh when we started i asked him you know do you want to um be kind of a backyard mechanic and just kind of do this at a couple little fun day events or mm -hmm. do you really want to do this and be serious about it and he said i'd, I'd like to be serious about it mm -hmm. and so we started a um, started the car build and um that that's really progressed quite a bit as you everybody mm -hmm. knows yeah. you can you can continually throw money at a car oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, financial and mistake <laughs> <laughs> and so we started um uh my cpa is like hey you uh you can't just have a race car for a hobby uh, they, yeah. you know they, they don't like that so we needed to start something else as well so we started the clutch kicker apparel brand so the mm -hmm. first first two people i brought on board is my two media guys uh matt and austin and uh, we brought them on board then i brought my crew chief on board and he helps uh so it's been a pretty tight group the entire time i have i still have the five or six people with me that mm -hmm. we started this this entire journey with yeah um they're still with us and as a matter of fact it's still the same full-size team when we started this and talking with them is my son is um, more of a studier of the sport. So he, he likes more of the old school, more of the style nice. part of it. Right. And so when I started, to gave, I gave them the option of start coming down with judges, people you want to be involved. Mm. Um, you know, Pat came up mm. and, you know, really wanted Pat in. Uh, Will Parsons being kind of an old school guy. Mm -hmm. uh, Greg Brussell, he comes in to help us grab Swan. Right, we wanted to bring in some experience. Right, yeah. if we're if we're inexperienced, we need to bring in experience. Right. Yeah. Um, so we weren't afraid of doing that. I want to be able to bring those people in, just like you guys. You know, mm -hmm. when we talked to him, um, 
bring that experience on. Don't be afraid of that. That's that's what I want to be able to bring to the aspect of it. Be able to get the experience in. Mm -hmm. That's what's going to help us grow. It's going to spread the love a little bit. Yeah. And um, I think it's I think it's worked really well. It's definitely worked well. We can see that. We can see the evidence of it well, clearly. I, I, and we're we're being compared to you know other series that have been mm -hmm. around for decades. Yep. Yeah. Or, yeah. Over a decade. Yeah. yeah. So when we're we're a little over three and a half events right now we're, yeah. we haven't even finished our fourth event and and to be compared against that's an incredible feeling that's it much is. much respect for other sports and so i'm, I'm very thankful to that we're, we're oh. truly blessed yeah, we, yeah come, come on come on we're gonna say all right so yeah. we got we got we got will parcells gonna come over here we, we're gonna take he's gonna take a french fry break for us <laughs> yeah take a break from, from french fries we don't want to keep you too long because we know you got to get back in the booth and uh and um you know get some food in your belly yeah just put it put it on there you go all right will can you hear me Yes, sir. Perfect. I can. We want to first of all thank you for coming out and thank you for being one of the judges. We know personally how uh, how hard it can be to yeah. be a judge, to be able to communicate what you're looking for properly, and not only that, to be able to just have to uh, really just nitpick, nitpick yeah. every little thing yeah. in order to come up with a winner. And it, it's going to come down to it. You, somebody's going to be upset, Always. and, and you've got to be able to maintain your composure and do it in a professional way. And we I definitely have to say that you guys have been able to do that. Well, thank you. Thank you. Yep, it's a tricky job for sure. Yeah, yeah. So, what would what do you think uh, today is? It, how do you think today is uh, going so far? And is there any um, thing maybe you want to share with the audience that's watching as far as what you're looking for and how you're making certain calls? Um, the top 32 went pretty smooth. I'm pretty happy with how the whole competition went down. Mm -hmm. um, there's people throwing down and looking good. Mm -hmm. um, some people are being a little bit sloppy, and that costs them their battles and stuff. Okay. So. Yeah. Okay. I know we had some questions about the Ethan Hodge versus Randy Noah. We weren't really sure because we don't. We're kind of got a little disconnect as far as what you guys are seeing and everything. But we did right. notice we weren't sure if, if if Ethan either he left the line before or if Na Randy jumped a gun. But there was an issue uh, before the initiation. Right. So the follow car has the choice. They can jump his hands mm -hmm. or they can wait. They can do whatever they want. The oh. lead car has to wait for the hands to drop to go. Oh. So okay. he jumped out of the tent mm -hmm. before Nick had even dropped his hands. Oh, okay. So, I see. And then we relayed to Nick and asked him, you know, did he do a full pull, the car that was leading? And he mm -hmm. did. So. Okay. Um, okay. So he just jumped out too aggressively okay. and then he had to wait. Wow. For okay. Get past. Well, well, let me ask you. So, uh, can you describe exactly like when you got the call from Mike to come on board? How was that like? Uh, well, they messaged me like a, a few months before the series started and just asked me if I was interested. And so we started talking back and forth. Yeah. And I was. I really liked the ideas that they had, and I really wanted to be a part of it. So we were able to work it out. And so I, I had a couple phone calls with this guy, and we hashed everything out and. Then we came and had a meeting and talked more. And mm. I mean, did you have any like, reservations about the idea of being a judge? I mean, uh, being a judge is always tough, so it's hard to, I don't know, to want to do it. But when an event like this where you have pro level drivers and grassroots level drivers like in the same thing, like I really like that concept yeah. um, as being someone that drove in grassroots and then went into you know a pro setting. Um, I really like the idea, so I really wanted to be part of it in some way. Uh, Mike, where do you see the series going from here? Obviously, you have this huge momentum uh, going for it, and I mean, the sky's the limit, right? It is. It, it really is. We, um, uh, being more business background, yeah. uh, I have reached out to some uh, pretty good sized sponsors. Um, we are looking at bringing on some sponsors for uh, 2021 that will be a pretty good size. Uh, we, you know, we're not making any announcements right now. We will have 2021 20, yeah. season. Um, I am looking at increasing the purse, oh. um, probably substantially. Um, really? You know, I don't know if we'll, I know we'll at least pay top 16. Uh, I'd like to be able to, if we bring in enough money to actually be able to pay top 32. Wow, um, that's big. That's So yeah. we're, we're trying to look at a couple of different options. I mean, uh, a field of 64, it's a lot. It is. Yeah. Uh, and, and it's a lot to, uh, for people to come out. Um, you know, I, I really like the, the aspect of having a top 32 with uh, bringing in 48 drivers mm -hmm. and top 16 qualifiers move on and then yeah. the next 32 battle it out to uh, to, to move on to that. Mm -hmm. uh, so that, I mean, I do like that aspect of it. So yeah. there's there's a couple of things. We're all talking about, you know, what we could do. Right now we have this momentum. Um, like you said, the sky's the limit, limit, but at the same time it's an open book right now. We're writing our own history at this moment. Yeah. So yeah. Uh, we, can, we can sit back and discuss it and try to figure out really what direction – 
how we want to fine tune it. Yeah. I mean, that's, and that's what I want to do. I want to be able to shift gears. I yeah. want to be able to go to second gear. But I also want to kind of fine tune the process a little bit. I think it's I think it's running pretty smooth. There's again, we're only on our fourth event. There's going to be mistakes uh, made. I have yeah, an, yeah. I have a very immature and experienced team as far as uh, my staffing goes, not as far as judging or right. or Swan, but as far as my team goes. Yeah. So there's going to be some little things that we do miss. Uh, but you know, I don't have a big full production uh, right. uh, live stream team. I, I don't have all those tools yet. So yeah. as far as we go, we're we're doing the best we can with what we have. Yeah. Um, and I think it's been very well received, and you know, and I talk about it in the drivers' meetings a lot, and let them know that you know we're we're building this for you, yeah. right? So don't don't be that guy coming in here and, and being a jerk, you know, because if I'm doing this for fun and right. I'm doing it so they have fun, right. if if you're the bad guy, then I'm I will give you your money back and you can take your team and leave. Right. Huh. I mean, it's about having fun. This is I know it's for money, yeah, but that doesn't mean come in here and be a, right. a jerk. Well, you can yeah. see that. I mean, you're talking about top 32 payouts. I have never. That's un, that's unheard of. Are you, yeah. you know, you're you're lucky. You, you most of the time. Well, I mean, it's smaller events. You're lucky if you get a shirt and a trophy. You know, when yeah. you walk out, you know, a handshake and say, "Hey, you did a great job." But to offer a payout for for top five is what you're doing now. Right. Correct? Top five, twenty thousand. Twenty thousand dollars, and then and now you're saying, "Oh, we're you know, we'd like to do the top sixteen payout." And then just to say, top thirty-two payout. That uh, that shows where your heart is. Yeah, I mean that's like I said. I I have I have other jobs and other investments. I, mm. This is not what I do for money. Right. Mm. So the fact that we can try to build this and, and really make something out of mm. it is a man. What an opportunity! I mean, it is truly an opportunity. Yeah. Um, like I said, uh, people they want to compare us to other series and things, and that's fine. That's that's on them. Um, you know, you're going to have anybody from kids sitting in mom's basement to mm. to a professional somewhere else that's going to judge us. That's that's that doesn't I don't read any of it I yeah, don't right. read it I don't watch it right um, I don't even watch the live streams uh, it, it's oh, you better you better watch this one don't look over here don't look <laughs> over here don't watch it you better watch this one <laughs> but, but, but the reason I say that's because that's not my background right uh-huh. right I have a team for that I have people that already see all that yeah. okay um, but you know you're going to get a lot of positive and you're going to get a lot of negative and it, that's going to come with the territory you know when yeah. you play sports or you're in sports that's part of it mm-hmm. um, so we're going to be judged and, it, and it's fine but from our standpoint, I, I want us here to have a good time. And I think as long as all these people, I mean, interview any driver when they leave. Mm-hmm. It, it may be somebody that when they're they're so mad when they come off the track mm-hmm. that, that you don't even want to talk to them. But I promise you, before you talk to them, before they leave, they will say how much fun they had here. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, will, have yes. you just experiencing all of this and hearing about the, uh, the purse? Yeah. Has it made you consider like, hey, maybe I should put the helmet back on and get back on the track? <laughs> It's tempting for sure. <laughs> like, yeah. Watching it drive, like everybody drive, I just, I'm always thinking like, man, they're having a good time. Yeah. yeah. Like it looks yeah. really fun. Yeah. It really makes me want to drive for sure. Yeah. 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 I got to go ride along yesterday with Marco, and that was that was great. Yeah. Yeah. And this track is so like, it's a very different track than what you normally see. It's deceivingly um, competitive. Right. It's super competitive. No one, even the big horsepower cars, can't really just run away from people. Mm-hmm. They have advantages in some spots, but really, I mean, you saw that Miata, like, right? Yeah, yeah, just hanging in there. Yeah, and, and right. you see the higher horsepower guys when they're going to the the, the offset of power and how okay, yeah, I mean, they, they can blow out the lead run, but now they got to follow that yeah. slower car and then they got to make it right. look smooth with right. all that power is hard. And they can't really get away either, so mm-hmm. it's they're right there the whole time. So, can you give us a quick little summary of like uh, your background is? I mean, obviously, you're you've driven before. Mm-hmm. Uh, you have uh, notably like Noel over here is a big fan of you from back in the day because he had a Corolla. <laughs> yeah. So, nice. s- s- so tell us a little bit about that. Yeah. So I started drifting in uh, Texas Pro Am in like um, 2007 ish. Okay. Um, I drifted a little bit before that in 2006. So that's kind of when I started driving in a Corolla, and then um, I drove in D1 GP when it came here. Right. I drove the season of that, and then right after that was XDC. Mm-hmm. Oh, so XDC, I was wow. Heavily yeah. involved in XDC. Yeah. Um, and then I made the jump to FD for a short while. I was in FD for, I think, three years, mm-hmm. but I was not very successful. Wow. Yeah. Um, you know what? But we were watching tough. some old FD footage. Yeah. Old, and, and what? how. The, the the drivers and just the just the whole scene has progressed is unbelievable. Yeah, it's insane for and sure. We were watching some reruns of FD, and you're like, yeah. nowadays it would have been zero versus zero, but yeah. you know people are winning yeah. and advancing. It's crazy how much it's uh, advanced. Just like watching this event, when you watch the talent that's out here, mm-hmm. and then you look at 
like what level the series is at right now. Like we're just started. It's right. our first year, and mm -hmm. already people are throwing down hard. Oh, like, big time! Like yeah. you know, most of the people here would have been driving in a pro setting, like you know, mm -hmm. six or seven years ago, for right. sure. Uh, Mike, is there anybody you, you want to thank? I mean, I'm sure you have a lot of people yeah, to thank. We do, and, and you know, being a new series, and like I said, being round four, you know, uh, we got Scott with Grip Royal, we got uh, Allen at Bridge Moto, we got the guys at Nitrous Outlet have been a, uh, a, a huge yeah. help. Yeah, we got them all here. Yeah, there's a whole list of them. <laughs> I mean, that's a laundry list for first season. Look at that. Oh, yeah, see, look at that. The Island Hotel, is uh, they've been really helpful to us. Um, they are a host hotel. They're right on the beach. Yeah, they got the, the, they got a huge lazy river. They got all this stuff going on. That they've been really good. Uh, Drift HQ. Those guys have been right on board. They bring the entire mobile um, part store with them. I mean, if you if you need a part while you're here, really? Yes, yeah, I gotta I pass mean, by there. See what yeah, they have. They uh, they have just about everything. I mean, they they really do. There's not many things that they don't bring with them on that truck. And the reason that's good is is a you don't have to start calling around to all these other mm. parts stores around yeah. town and you got to right. drive 10, 15 minutes each way or one has it or one doesn't and pick up multiple parts. They bring it here. So that's that's been huge. Uh, Cosmos Racing uh, Wheels has came on board with us this year. Uh, Silver Suspension has been part of it. Uh, let's see. Uh, uh, Rick with RTS. Yeah. Um, man, he's he's been really good. Uh, matter of fact, I think uh, uh, Naren's with him. Mm -hmm. You know, been a big sponsor of his as well. So that's that's been really big. Uh, ECU Masters has been good. Tire Stacks came on board with us as well. Uh, FDF Fad, uh, they just came on board with us, and that they're, they've been tremendous uh, as well. So it's you can't do it without sponsors. I, and right. I, yeah. I know everybody knows that, but truly, when you're really starting one off of the ground, mm -hmm. you know, I, I, I came out of pocket a lot of money to, to put all this asphalt down, and then we did a few things, and then the first round tore it up a little bit. You know, we come out of pocket another twenty or $30,000, then the had to fix another 20 or 30 after mm -hmm. round two and three. Oh. Um, so uh, this was actually the first event. Uh, we spent probably about $3,000 or so in maintenance for this one just to kind of re uh, repair a couple of places and patches. Mm -hmm. um, so, I mean, you couldn't do this without sponsors. Absolutely not. Um, yeah. You know, and, and the drivers themselves too. So um, we, we really do thank our sponsors tremendously. Like right, I said, right. the Thrive being here with just doing IVs and keeping some of these drivers from being sick or crew. Mm -hmm. Uh, man, it's hot. It's yeah, hot out it there. Is, it's it got. I guarantee it's got to be two, 200, 250 degrees in those cars sitting out there right now. Oh yeah, it's, it gets pretty hot in there, with especially all the heat. And a lot of these guys don't have any. Yeah. It's just a you know, firewall, just bellowing yeah. heat and all kinds of stuff going on there. It is. And so, and, and to thank these guys, man, this is a huge commitment from Will and Pat and Greg and Swan. Um, you know, that's that's a big commitment for these guys to to, yeah. to believe in us. Um, between the between the forum they got 40 years of experience right. you know yeah, right. and they put their faith in us they, yeah. they didn't know us they right. didn't they didn't know anybody on my team yeah so that's they, why i asked they about put like their, yeah they they, they, they stake their name on this i mean yeah. that, that's a pretty big deal and like i said they stake their name on it and, and their reputation decades of reputation um and being judged mm -hmm. right that's yes. a that's a tough spot i mean there, there's a there's a lot of uh, monday armchair quarterback out there yeah, right yeah, there's right. a lot of people that that want to watch a, a video from a 180 degree angle and say, well, that was a bad decision. Yeah. Well, you didn't look at it from the same angle. You weren't Correct. even there. You know, you were yeah. sitting in Tucson and you just got off from work delivering pizzas. <laughs> and then, and now all of a sudden you're sitting in the basement of your mom's house at 3 a.m. in the morning and, and, and you're killing us. Yeah. I mean, come on. Yeah. It, it, that's the part. That's why I don't read it and watch it. Yeah. You know? So um, most of the fans have been good. I mean, it's, it's, it, it is a judged event. And, yeah. uh, you know, that's one of the things I know that that's part of it. It's that's judged. Part of it. It is a, there's no other motorsports that's like this. Mm -hmm. And so people should really love that aspect of it, not mm -hmm. fight it. Yeah. Right? I mean, there's yeah. there's no other judge motorsport out, like, out there like that. So embrace that part. I mean, that's these guys know that. Yeah. I mean, they, they come off sometimes and they're, they're mad if it didn't go their way. But they know sometimes it's going to go your way. Sometimes, yeah. sometimes it's, it's not. not. And, yeah. it, and a lot of times it comes down to, hey, you're going to have to humble yourself and say, hey, listen, I lost this round, but what am I going to do to improve and take this? Right. You know, you got to look at any loss or any anything that that, in, that you do as, as a learning point. You know, yeah. take that and say, okay, you know, they called against me. Maybe I don't agree with, but what could I do next time that's going to put me in a position where I'm not going to be at now? And oftentimes it's a communication part of it, too, because there's a lot of, like, misinformation, and it, there's a certain way that it, you want to uh, uh, kind of, like, 
you're, you're looking at a certain run and, and perhaps something gets lost in translation. So the right. communication aspect of it is very important. And I try to talk to a lot of the drivers that are unhappy with the calls that, you know, when they lose and explain to them, like, this is what we're looking at. And most of the time, you know, they go, oh, okay, that makes sense. Mm -hmm. um, sometimes they're super hot in the moment and don't want to talk about it. Mm -hmm. But And then also when they look at footage from where we're actually at, from our perspective, mm -hmm and see what they missed on the track, then they're like, oh, okay, well, right. yeah, I need to do better next time. Yeah. Yeah. Let me ask you something. Uh, what, what percent of the drivers have, um, have uh, like, spotters? Do you think all the drivers have a spotters? Or? Most of them do. A couple people came solo to this event, uh, mm -hmm. but most all of them at least have a friend that's watching for them and relaying. Um, and we try to tell them, like, hey, if you have a spotter or somebody that's watching your runs or filming your runs, have them film from, you know, under that tower or near the tower because that's mm -hmm. where you see the clipping points from our, our perspective. Because mm -hmm. um, a lot of times on this track we've had issues on lead runs mm -hmm. where the lead driver is missing the touch and go and late into the outer zone number two. Mm -hmm. And uh, if you're watching from, like, a certain angle you can't you can't tell that at mm. all but right. if you're watching from over there it's very obvious and that shows how how, how key having a good spotter is as well right. because they that's your that's the driver's link to the judges yeah. and so they, they got to be able to communicate having a good spotter how 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 it plays such a major role in yeah. a competitive right. level because you can say hey, listen you know this is what they're looking for you need to go deeper in this section you're yeah. going too shallow your angle you're scrubbing too much speed and these are information this is information that is is indeed very helpful to yeah. the drivers yeah. And, and it becomes like a court case. Like yeah. you got to present <laughs> yeah. the evidence. Yeah, yeah present the exactly. evidence. Yeah. Um, you good? I, no, I mean, I don't really have any questions. Um, uh, anything, Will, you want to let everybody I know mean, as if, far as? If you all had any questions about the track or anything, I can explain it. Or, huh? you know, I'm the what? Yeah. Okay, so I don't really. <laughs> it's kind of yeah, hard. They're, to tell they're wondering what when it's going to start. Uh, it's start back up. Yeah. When are we going to get back driving yeah. again? Yeah. 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 Any coming? Enough, 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 enough of the old guys. <laughs> right, right, right. Well, <laughs> I'm right there with you. And not too yeah. far. Behind. But uh, as far as anything, they can always get on the Facebook and they can always post comments on that. And uh, awesome. uh, Will, are you interactive yeah. on the Facebook page? Yeah, yeah for so sure. So there, that'd be a good and way Instagram to. Instagram too. Yeah, yeah. Instagram and, and and the Facebook page. If you guys have any questions that weren't answered or, or still aren't clear for you, just feel free to to look up the Clutch Kickers. Um, the Clutch Kickers Facebook page and their Instagram uh, post up on there, and hopefully we'll be able to get some answers, clear things Absolutely. out there. Yes, Absolutely. indeed. Well, um, again, I, I can't say thank you enough. Mm -hmm. um, we've had a tremendous amount of support uh, from a lot of followers, uh, a tremendous uh, amount of support from, mm -hmm. from guys like y'all reaching out, and that's um, that makes us feel good. I, yeah. I really do. I, from the bottom of my heart, I want to say thank you to I everybody that. that's – that supported us from day one and then yep. comes in and watches us and drives. I mean, there's people, there's people that drove 10, 12, 14 hours just to yeah. come and sit and watch it. I yeah. mean, it's yeah. not yeah. even, we, not that that was us, yeah. Yeah. you know, yeah, so that's, that's, that means a lot to us. Yeah. yeah. And it really does. And that. we're absolutely happy to help. I mean, we're really yeah. happy to be here. Really enthusiastic to, to build the relationships, to, to get new friends. I mean, yeah, you really can't ask them or see great driving. Uh, it just, it's just all around a win, win for everybody. No. Yeah. No, we appreciate it, and all of our sponsors. And if there's any other sponsors out there, like to contact us, they, yeah, they there can you definitely go. reach out. To, yeah, clutchkickers.com. No, absolutely. Yeah. All right, okay, gentlemen, so thank you for uh, coming on by. Yeah. We know you have a lot of things to do. Yeah. Yeah. We're gonna get appreciate ready for top thanks, 16. Well. We're yes, do the reach around. Do the reach around. Yeah. 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 All right, guys. Thank uh, you. Thank so you so much. You're have welcome. a great day.